we had a huge announcement today. We are going to be working with Altered Comics. It's going to be an interactive comic series coming to Mixer, set in the Mixerverse. And you will be able to decide at the end of each comic what is going to happen next. You're going to be able to control some of the decisions the heroes or villains and things make. And it's going to be really cool. So uh, my character here, she was the first one launched today. Today is the first day of the first character launched. So there's going to be lots of awesome streamers launching characters this month. So stay tuned. Make sure you follow them on Instagram and, and Twitter and all that fun stuff. Check out their website, the GoFundMe and things. This is Anna Lee Rose. That's her civilian name and her superhero name is BU. Um, I wonder where she got that name from. But she has the ability to control emotions. She, she has these pheromones and stuff that she puts off and she can control, um, control like crowds. So if it's a rowdy crowd, she can calm them down. She can make people feel happy. She can put them to sleep. Uh, so she has the ability to control people's emotions. And she also has uh, ability to heal people as well. This is going to be an insanely cool project. If you all haven't checked it out, I am seriously, this isn't just some silly little comic someone's putting out. This is a project that a lot of thought and love and time has been put into. It's going to be big and it's, it's really cool. If you want to be a part of it, there's going to be opportunities to do so. Whether it's winning through social media giveaways, uh, backing the project through Kickstarter or GoFundMe. You can get your characters in the, game, in the, in the comic series. It's going to be really cool. So if you guys want to see this thing get big and be an awesome part of the Mixer community, please go check out their website. Support the GoFundMe. I'll drop the GoFundMe link right now. Um, Altered Comics is the name. Let's see. Are you there? I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes, first try. Oh, man. That's, That's awesome. That's fantastic. <laughs> Hello, heard. Hive. How are you guys doing tonight? Everybody having fun? I hear y'all guys just got a really cool pro code. That's flipping amazing. Pro is a good way to do it. I love it. Yes. Um, thank you all for the honor of allowing me to come and speak to you guys. You are flipping amazing. Um, man, this is pretty cool. I've watched and kind of lurked in y'all guys' channel for a while, so it's really neat to be able to come on and talk to you about something that we are super stoked about. Uh, especially because she was one of the she was the first female we talked to about this project too. I don't know if we told her that. Oh um, no, you didn't. I put, yeah, the, I put so, the her and hero. So <laughs> my name my name is OG Lantastic on Mixer. Um, it's also Lanham McCallum. Uh, most of my friends call me Red because I have a massive red beard and a ton of red hair. Um, <laughs> But uh, so, yeah, we we had this idea, a friend of mine, Stephen versus uh, games and myself, that's uh, Stephen Plum. And uh, we had this idea where we loved the content and interaction that you get from our community, your community, the Mixerverse. And so uh, we found a way to turn that into a comic book. So what we've done is we've taken your favorite streamers and definitely our favorite streamers like BU. And we have turned her into the character that you guys saw earlier. Um, her character there is essentially two months of us researching her and lurking and being somewhat creepy in the just, background. Just a little and, bit. <laughs> and, and figuring out who she is, what she stands for, would she be a good fit for us? Um, because obviously, if I talked to every single one of you guys, you'd probably be like, dude, Sting Bear, that's awesome. Your red beard is probably way cooler than mine, I bet. Um, anyways, but yeah, so that's her character right there. Uh, we we looked at a bunch of different names for her, and we just could not get away from BU. It just makes sense. It's her motto. It's a call. Uh, mine is going white, Junkie. I, 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 I should say it's like cayenne and pepper. It's not quite salt <laughs> and pepper, but it's getting there. Um, but so we, we turned her into a character that you can see there and in honor of you, the hive in honor of be you in honor of her sunny personality. I tried to create a character that really kind of went with that concept. 
And so you can see how there's the, the mimicking of bees and the, and, and the concept behind it. If you go to the web page, you'll also see her kind of a quick backstory. You'll see a little blurb out about the amazing BU herself and you guys, the hive. We did make sure to throw you in there because you are such a strong community base that she has. Um, and you'll see her power set as well. Um, so she's a pheromone based hero. She uses different pheromones, essentially pollens is what they call them, in order to alter people's emotions and or kickstart the body's healing, adrenaline. So she kind of alters people um, without directly telling them to heal or get angry. She can change the mood of a room just kind of by being in it and smiling and and projecting those pheromone based powers. And so it is a great superhero name and we absolutely fell in love with it. And so her ability is she's more of a support and healer role. Um, she is kind of that person who in the hero team and in the basis that she says what everyone else is saying, but when she says it, you listen because you've come to trust her character. You know who she is. She speaks for herself. And um, she is an honored value member of the team. She was, uh, again, she's the first female that was brought on to the Victory Squad. But I guess before I jump too much into BU's character herself, I should give a little background. Um, has anyone in the chat been to the website yet? Have y'all guys read up on any of this or seen any of this? Or is this kind of the first that you guys are being, being put into it? Okay, huge junkie. Cool, cool. Furry. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So what this is, it's an interactive comic. And the interactive comic comes from the fact that we have written a story. It will be 14 issues annually, uh, 12 that will come one per month. And then obviously we're going to have a charity issue that we're working with BU and some of the other streamers on. And the full amount of that money will go to a chosen charity. And then we're going to have a special um, founders issue. So anyone who joins up now, anyone who supports our GoFundMe, Anyone who joins the Kickstarter in March will all get a Founders double-sized uh, double sized series comic, um, potentially printed and, and, and autographed, so that you guys will get more content than anyone else. Because if you guys are willing to pour into us now, then we're going to pour into you later when you guys want all the really, really good information. So in the Mixerverse, it's a world similar to our own. Um, and just like our own, the government's kind of shite and, and not getting better. Uh, society is starting to dwindle. Um, when you really look at the various supplies and countries, they're not working together. All in all, she's kind of a shitty, shitty little planet. And um, when you get down to it, uh, it gets worse. So a meteor shower essentially strikes the planet. And it is an apocalyptic style event. Everything has changed. But on top of this is that everyone loses their memory of this event itself. And for one week, they are unable to figure out what happened during that time frame. All they can remember is the meteors coming down and then they've everyone has lost one week. And anytime they try to think about it, they get a severe pain in their head. All they see is flashes of red. And then the harder they think about it, the more damage is actually caused to them. So they'll get massive headaches. They'll start bleeding from the ears and nose. It's it's a pretty serious thing. Um, so what they do is they just decide they're not going to think about it anymore. So the world starts trying to figure out how to handle this. They all wake up from this week-long uh, time of, of just absolute uncertainty, and the world starts going into a little bit of anarchy. Well, what happens is some people stand up, and they won't let it happen. And what we find out is not only do people not know what happened for a week, but there's a group of people that have been altered. They've been changed on a genetic level. Some of them have physical changes. Some of them have just amazing powers. Think of kind of like your Greek mythology, just the ability to do things that are right out of stories. Well, obviously, that causes additional fear. And so that's where our story takes off is that – a set of heroes have risen up to help this world in chaos regain its momentum, regain its focus, and find a way to live a new a new world, a new life, essentially. And BU is one of the government's chosen heroes, the ones to kind of help usher in this new age, this new golden age. Um, and how this comic is interactive is that at the end of each month, you will be given a set of choices, the reader, the subscriber, the fan – you will be given a set of choices where you'll figure out where the story goes next. Now, obviously, 
we are going to control an overall story arc because otherwise it could go crazy. Like, I don't want BU's character to one day uh, be a nurse working in a hospital and helping out, and then the next day she's in a pixie land drinking nectar, and then the next day she is is fighting, you know, as one of the inmates uh, in some video game. You know, so, so there'll be an overall arc. And so... Um, <coughs> spider-man who i absolutely agree and there'll be an overall story arc but you guys will get to choose what happens in the story you'll get to choose who lives and die you'll get to choose do they go left or right you'll get to choose does bu end up does she decide that she no longer wants to be in the superhero gang and she's going to join a an altered rebellion that's going on you will get to decide how the story is going to move forward. And that's the interactive. So you will have a three day after the release of each comic series, you'll have three days to vote on these different questions that we've put up to you. And then based on that vote, we will alter the comic to follow the stream of what you guys want it to be, you the reader. And then the next month, you guys will get to see what your choices have done in the comic series. Now I have to let you know, that we're kind of a bit like we're a bit uh, do y'all guys know who puck is? is is anyone in here understand the concept of puck he is or pan um tricksters loki you may think you're choosing something good for the character be you like does be you go down the dark alley or does she go back to the base where it's safe well you may choose back to the base but that may not actually have been the safest route for her. So you will obviously get to choose what you want to choose, but it may not always turn out the way you want. So there's going to be a little mystery in your choice as well. And, and hopefully it will make you guys think very carefully how you, how you move the story ahead uh, in, in that manner. Um, does anyone have any questions so far about that? Obviously, this is a massive thing. I haven't even gotten into the Department of Altered Affairs. I haven't even gotten to the world... Uh, council. I haven't gotten into the shapes and the, all the kind of stuff that, that I could really, really jump into. Um, but where you're going to get that additional information is going to be on the website. Every single day for the next uh, 16 days, we will be updating the website with new characters, with new information. Essentially, by the time that you guys are done, you will be ready and already feel like you are a part of this world that's about to just go. No worries, Mr. Wild Starfish. I'm sorry I talked I, I talked way too long. No worries to interrupt, <laughs> by all means. Bye, Starfish. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you soon, okay? Captain Rick, yes, characters can definitely be killed, and heroes can definitely be villains. And villains may turn into heroes. That's kind of all up to you guys. <laughs> That'll be fun. So, um... How will we experience the comic book? Will it be on a particular stream uh, launched on the website? Can I read? Someone asked if I can read the comic on my stream live. You can read the comic on your stream live because, B, I'm going to get – you will be released at least two weeks in advance what's going to kind of happen. Ooh. Obviously, there will be some panels missing because we'll need to obviously alter those. So you'll know the core storyline. Okay. Um, the choices are going to be things that surprise even you. So you won't even get to know – what's going to happen to your character until everyone else does so that you can be just as surprised as they are. But oh, this is actually going to release online. So it's going to be an online subscription. Now, the first issue that we release, especially if you're part of the GoFundMe or Kickstarter. So if you donate to the GoFundMe, we're going to still go ahead and give you all the same loot that you'd get from the Kickstarter. Uh, the GoFundMe was just a way for us to see what kind of traction we were getting, um, what kind of interest we were getting. Um, and unfortunately, people somehow found our PayPal accounts and our Patreons and have been giving us money on that. So oh, no. we, we, re we really do ask that you guys just keep it to the GoFundMe um, because <clears throat> we want you guys to see an overall growth of this and, and an interest, not just in the fact that we have over – I think it was 500 something followers. Each one of our social medias have grown uh, beyond the four and 500 follower platform um, that we have already had people writing us. We've already had two people um, issue us fan art. And I thought that that was really interesting oh. since we just launched BU today and we have a fan art of BU already. What? And we I haven't seen just... this yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get it to you. And we, oh. and we, already have a fan art of the two main characters that are based off of Steven and myself. Someone already sent us a picture of that as well. 
Um, and then, of course, my son did a fan art, and I have that hanging above my desk at home. Um, but all in all, like, I love that we have such awesome people already behind this and excited to be a part of it. And we're stupid excited to be a amazing part would be like, I'm so excited to work with her and um, her joy and her passion and just the fact that she's so real. And another thing I'm excited to is to work with you guys, the hive. And I don't know, um, but you guys will be represented in this comic series in issue two. I don't know if BU let you guys know that. I haven't yet, but you're welcome to tell them. Do you no, you go for it if you okay. if you want to. So, um I hit up so it was it was really hard. He, he we got to decide on um some community members to represent our hive. And I thought there would be no better people than our moderators since they're here every day taking care of us. So I chose we, we got to pick seven, I believe. Seven yeah, moderators. Seven. They've um they've sent in all their information and they'll be appearing in the comic book. Um, so mods, if you were wondering why do you need all this weird information, this is why. Uh, so you guys will be appearing in there to represent our community. Uh, so I'm really excited about that because you guys have worked long and hard for our community. So inside the comic, obviously, like any other team you can think of, there's going to be a fan base for some of these heroes. And the strongest fan base of all the Victory Squad is going to be BU's Hive. And so every time she saves the day, every time the hero's there, a bunch of her Hive members are going to come out with signs, and they're going to be jumping up and down. They're going to be super supportive, wearing her gear. And that's going to be you guys. So that's going to be the mods at first. But as this popularity grows, there's nothing to say that in Season 2, she doesn't get another eight different people that she can give away. And those faces can appear uh, in the comic book as well. And if being in the comic is something that's always been your dream, well, we've got three different ways you can do it. One is you can obviously in the Kickstarter or GoFundMe, you can essentially purchase yourself to be in the storyline. Two, we're actually giving away a couple characters um, and doing some drawings for those later on in the next couple weeks. And these aren't just bit characters. These are going to be main storyline characters. So this is a chance for you to sit down with us, do a creative kind of pooling of the minds and design a character for you, design a super, uh, super suit for you, design everything, and essentially allow you to live your dream. And the third way that you can do this is if you get enough support for us. So essentially, if on one of your pages, if on your Twitter, your Instagram, your Mixer, your whatever, that we hear that, let's say... Um, Captain Rick, let's say Captain Rick brought us 200 people, 300 people that he's been driving us. He's been talking about us. He's been pushing us through social media. Well, I have no other choice but to make him a part of this project because he's already made himself a part of the project by bringing more people to our Altered Comics family. So there is going to be... Um, there is going to be this opportunity for you guys to do it uh, and be a part of it in those three ways. But yeah, our GoFundMe is definitely live. Um... <laughs> uh, I, my voice is okay. I actually used to be the uh, commercial operations manager for Lego. And so we used to have to stand up and talk for hours uh, all across the world. And, oh, wow. and interpret, an interpreter would have to talk while we were talking. And sometimes we would have to just fill in space with dead air and just comments and so i remember the longest time i spoke was about a launch of the friends line if you guys know lego and uh it was stupid interesting and it was five and a half hours straight standing oh up God. yeah it was it was amazing um but the group that i was doing they all kept bowing and bowing so i'm assuming my interpreter was doing good and bowing and bowing and I was like, I don't know what's going on. You could be saying whatever he wants, but it was hilariously, uh, hilariously funny. And then when I left the room, they all just kept bowing and bowing. And like, I would try to shake hands and like poke him in the head. It, it was nuts. I, I was not, I should have brushed up a little bit more. Um, but do y'all guys have any questions? That's really what I'm here for. I don't want to take you away from BU too long. I know I need to absorb some of her energy to get through my week. So I'm sure you guys need to as well. I'll, I'll send uh, I'll send my pheromones that way to, to energize <laughs> you up. Uh, and I did make your costume very easily, 
you can make it yourself very easy with the white scarf there you've got nice. the the gloves the everything so if anyone ever wanted to go to a pax or wanted to go to a comic convention and dress as bu definitely mad shout outs and you will definitely be put on the website cosplay all blow the way my mind. I definitely want to cosplay. That was the first thing I asked. I was like, so my, my one demand, I need the cosplay. I love her costume. It's really good. Did the, did the artist darken the yellow? Yes, yes. I, I had him. Well, when we changed your hair color, I had to change your outfit so that it didn't look like you had dyed your hair to match your outfit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I noticed uh -huh. like the first one you sent me, I feel like it was a lighter yellow. And then it, one... it was, but I your like hair was... Better. Your hair was a darker, almost like an orange. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, 24, this is going to be a really deep, complex story. And without going into it too much, we have 26 different streamers that will all be getting their own storyline. And on top of this storyline, there's going to be two sub-levels as well. Each comic is going to be roughly 36 pages each month. But in between those two months, we will be releasing what's called, um, it's going to be like a newspaper. And so you'll be getting these newspaper stories of events that are happening in the Mixerverse, in this world, on this planet. And that will help you understand a little bit about what's going on. We may release old fake videos from the past. We're, we're going to be continuously adding in content to build this world for you. So obviously it's going to be a great story if you just decide to read the comic book once a month, but it's going to be even more if you decide to keep going back and being a part of all the extra tidbits that we're going to leave for you guys. Um, we're even looking at a scavenger hunt that's going to be pretty cool online. We're working with a company to potentially make a bunch of essentially fake websites that you would go on and you'd have to search through and find different facts and you'd have to go onto a fake library webpage and hack into it so you can find some old newspapers. And <laughs> so we're doing some really cool stuff to try to make this as fun as we can for you guys. Um, Another really cool thing we're doing is obviously you guys saw that Xbox giveaway. It's flipping amazing. Um, and the Xbox Pope did that to us. I gave that to us for free. He was like, hey, this design, I love it. I love your concept. I need you to do this. Here you go. I was blown away by, by him. So this is something that we're just giving out to the fans. Uh, and then we are making two controllers. So it won't look like that controller, but one of them will be after the main character, Steven, and the other controller will be after mine. One will be themed blue, one will be themed red, because that's kind of how the two main characters work. Um, one is, does anyone in here know Naruto? Is that a thing that you guys are aware of, I'm assuming? Yes. Okay, well, my character is more like Naruto, his character is more like Sasuke. He's reserved, he's powerful, he trains hard, he's logic, he thinks. My character jumps through a window and doesn't realize it's just like a bakery. He, he doesn't realize there's no bad stuff afoot um but they're both lovable they're both genuine and that's who they are um but yes yeah, so we'll be giving away those controllers but we've actually been working with two companies that we're super excited to be a part of and uh, one of those is converse i don't know if you guys have heard of the converse shoes obviously you guys have but um my yeah, favorite they're... i have like four pairs <laughs> I have I have a couple of friends up there from my time in Lego, and they're looking at making an altered, uh, a limited release altered, where they would custom make a couple shoes for us for us to give away, and so it would be like a BU shoe. So she'd be able to give away a pair of sneakers that would have BU's character on one, and then obviously the altered logo and push on the other. And so we're in the works of that right now, trying to get that completed. And then also um, a Funko Pop artist who works primarily in Funko Pop is wanting to um, is wanting to make the characters into Funko Pop toys standees or whatever. And oh yeah, so so <laughs> like that. And but it would look exactly like her character or the other characters. And so we'd be giving those away as well. Um, and then there's one more that I'm stupid stoked about, and Steven won't let me talk about it yet, which is fine, because we haven't signed any agreements or any contracts. But if this thing goes through, it's going to be just next game awesome for you guys. I get nothing out of this. And that's another thing I wanted to touch base uh, to you guys and to all the people you share it with, is that we get nothing out of this. We're not raising money for ourselves. We're not putting money into our bank accounts. 
we really are just taking whatever we we raised and is going right freaking back into this community into you guys into everything that you are so um we just want this experience to be amazing for you we want more content for bu we want everyone to go holy cow this is amazing um so in my opinion uh 24 my what i get out of it is your statement right there like that it's so amazing that we should get something out of it. Well, your your adoration, your like the fact that you're going to be sitting at home reading my story, and like laughing, and then like writing us letters and going, "Hey, uh, isn't any way you can get this out a week early?" Um, any of that kind of stuff, like I love um, that. That's that's what makes me that's what makes me happy. Um, but yeah, do y'all guys have any other questions before I get out of here? Because I want to give this back over to BU to run her stream and do her thing because I've taken up way too much of her <laughs> no, time. No, no, you've, you've got us all like super excited. This has been like the best day ever. Um, I think someone was asking when the launch, did, did you answer that question when the launch was? Okay, so the, the official launch will be at the beginning of June. Um, and we'll have a massive, uh, I think we're actually going to have a game tournament as well to launch that bad boy off. Um, but it's going to be in June is when the comic will actually drop. But the Kickstarter starts in the beginning of March, uh, I think on the 3rd or 4th, whatever that Monday is. Soon. So the Kickstarter starts in March. We've already got the GoFundMe up. Please make sure when you write in the GoFundMe, if you guys decide to donate, that you put your gamer tag in there so that we can log you on the GG website as having already given to the account if you decide to go with the GoFundMe aspect. If you want to wait till Kickstarter, that's completely cool. Because on Kickstarter, we're going to have different collectible pins. We're going to have different uh, giveaways. We're going to have signed autographed original art of your favorite character. So you could like pick BU and you'd get an autographed picture of <laughs> BU's character. Um, and you're, we're going to have so many cool things to give away there. Um, so definitely any way that we can raise funds for this, anything that we can do for this, we're willing to do it. But one of the most important things on our website, more important than donations, more important than anything is going to be on the contact page. There is a email. If you guys have ideas for this and what you want to see, email us. If you want to be a part of this, email us. If you don't like something about this, email it. If like you decide I need to shave my beard, email us. We want to hear from you guys because you are the people that are in control of the story now. We wrote what we could and we've released it to you guys. It's your choices, it's your decisions is going to make the story go forward. So we need to know your opinions and your thoughts, okay? So by all means, um, please, please, please jump on there and write to us. Um, I am a fledgling mixer streamer as well, so I, I will be leaving here and at 8 o'clock I'll be streaming and, and doing my thing. Um, obviously, don't ever leave the BU Hive because that's, that's her love and she's amazing. Um, but if I'm ever streaming when she's not and you want to come in and say hello, please say hello, introduce yourself, tell, you, tell me where I know you from uh, or you know me from, and I would love to get to know all you guys because community is at the heart of this project. If we didn't care about you guys, we wouldn't have made it interactive, you know? <laughs> um, so that's really all I've got. Any other questions? I'll, I'll do anything. Uh, I'll do anything. Thank you, I'm 24. <laughs> um, do you mind if I make some emotes? I was going to do the, I was going to take the Victory Squad logo. Whatever you want to okay. do, you do. Okay, like sweet. you have, you, you are in complete control of whatever information we gave you. Anything that you think you need, have at it. Um, we will be having another, well, that's an off, off site thing. I'll talk to you about it. I do need to shoot you some messages tonight and get your feedback. Okay. on merch stuff so yes all right sounds good um i see i had something else captain there. rick that is coming down the tubes uh and again a hundred percent well i think it's 50 50 percent 50 percent of whatever merchandise and stuff that you guys purchase will be going into the comic the other 50 will go to the streamer who is represented on that and if it's just an altered based and our character based shirt, then it'll go right back into the comic itself. Because my goal would be that we raise enough money that we can start printing these out each month and you get a hard copy. Uh, I do know that right now we have already set a fund aside and Steven and I are putting our own money in each month so that we can save enough money to print a hard copy of the entire year 
that we can send and sell to you guys so that you can have that whole thing. Yes, that's awesome. Um, awesome. Let's see, Gaga asks, will any of the Hive members be villains? So I, I believe uh, we touched on that about uh, if you want to get into the comic book, uh, there'll be some opportunities to do so with um, funding it. Is that correct, OG? Yeah. You, you can be- Well, you can fund it. You can um, help support it. So if, let's say, 24, you bring 400 people, and we, we can kind of trace that to you, that you brought 400 people to our page or you brought people to donate to our page, then obviously we would work with you as well. Um, and then we'll also be giving them away. So on random days check in every day on our twitter check in every day on our website and uh, we'll be giving away characters that way as well nice so if you guys didn't know today was the first character launch we got to be the very first one launched there's going to be a there, different there was no other choice there could not be anyone else to lead this <laughs> off besides you, you thank you for choosing me to do that it's like crazy they came up and talked to me at dave and buster's party at pax so this is why going to pax is important everyone this is the kind of things and connections that you make with some awesome uh, members of the community um, by going on these trips. They're not just, uh, I'm going to go eat food and hang out for the weekend. Um, but there's going to be some awesome streamers that are a part of this project. So be sure you guys pay attention. I'll be posting them to my social media every day. Awesome. I'm really excited for the streamers we're going to be um, in this with. There's some great, great names coming up. So definitely. I mean, you, you can announce them if you want. I can't? I okay. Mean... Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a bunch. Um, Queen Eliminator, uh, the only Tachyon. Let me pull up my list real quick. There's a bunch. Yeah, um, there's I Hollywood. There's King Captain Bailey Robert. Bomb. I'm excited about King Bailey Bomb, and we're we're pulling a new one every single day. Uh, we've got three big big ones that we're having meeting with tomorrow. So hopefully we'll have some even more people to send you guys way. Nice. But all your favorite streamers are going to be a part of this. And another thing, if you are a, a mixer partnered streamer and you want to be a part of this project send us a, a letter or if you have a streamer that you're like they have to be a part of this i want them then write on their behalf and let us know so we can contact them obviously be you being the best and that's why she released number one if there's your <laughs> second favorite streamer then definitely do that too uh cute noob and chica wolf are already a part of this so they're good friends of our community as well so it's going to be just one awesome mix that's what's so great about Mixer is like we're all already a community and we know each other and then we get to be a part of something that's going to bring us even closer together and like really just like make Mixer this like really cool experience with the community and streamers and stuff all together. So I'm so It's going to be awesome. I, I heart all you Hive people. You are the best in the world and I can't wait to see what you guys do and we will have more and more awesome opportunities for you guys and your fan base. BU, it has been such an honor. Thank you so much for letting me waste your time. Um, and and I look forward to talking to you again soon because we have a couple bigger things we need to talk about that we have been working on in the shadows and have come to light. So hopefully this is going to get even bigger for you guys as well. Um, so... Thank you so much, guys. Hug Junkie, you are amazing. I hope to see you all again soon. Much love, and I will be popping in later to say hi. All right, sounds good. We'll see you soon. Happy stream tonight, and I will be in touch with you after my stream. Awesome. See you later, guys. (laughs) Thank you for joining us. Bye. Thank you. Boop. Oh, my God. How excited are you guys on a scale of 1 to 10? How excited are we? I'm so glad OG could, could join us. 100, 11. <laughs> Turn it all the way, crank it to 11. Um, I'm glad OG could could join us. He's a better speaker than I am about about this. So that was really cool that he joined us. Nine, over 9,000. Yes. Oh, Ray, I'm glad you I'm glad you found Mixer. Um, and Whisper, thank you. I will definitely be checking that out, and I'll get back to you. Okay. Um, man. So yeah. Pretty freaking sweet, right? Victory Squad. <laughs> Already making comics is a lot of fun. Fury, it, the thing is, like, I've never really been interested in comics. Like, I've bought some in the past, and I, like, never read them. And, like, I feel like it'd be something I'd like, but I was into so many other things, like anime and streaming and gaming. And I was like, how am I going to fit comics into all of these hobbies I have? But there's something really sweet about this experience is an interactive comic book and I love choose your own adventure books so this is perfect it's like I get to I get to dive into like a comic book 
um, universe and be a part of it, like, mind-blowing. But I'm really, really excited um, and very thankful and blessed that we get to be a part of such a cool experience. So I look forward to seeing how it evolves and there's going to be some awesome partners, like we said, um, that are going to be a part of it as well. So they, they did a fantastic job picking, picking people to bring on board with this. Thank you, Agent. I did nothing. I did nothing. I just streamed. I just streamed and I, I was myself. So guys, you, you gotta, you gotta, I'm serious. Be yourselves. Gaga, I'm so glad you are back and you got to be a part of the stream today. Uh, I, I, you know, there's 30 of y'all here. You got to hear it first. You were here at the very beginning, the launch. So thank you all for being here and being a part of that. Uh, I think it's really special and it's, um, yeah, don't forget you were here day one. Day one, you guys were here. It's gonna, this is gonna evolve into a huge project. I mean, they're talking to Converse and they've got a custom Xbox and like, I'm telling you guys, the, the mad vibes you all put off all the time, it's coming back. The universe always gives back. So I'm glad, I'm glad we're doing this. This is so cool.